This is going to be a follow-up video to my previous video um, about Matt Slick. And I made that video like at 3 in the morning. I will admit that. I did. I, I, looking back at it now, I wish I could have gone a little more in depth. But that's okay. It was just a, a fun video to pass the time of boredom. I wasn't expecting to get comments from longtime pal Avi Owens. And I say that with sarcasm. Because... Ever since I've converted to Catholicism, I guess, put in more mild terms, me and her falling out. And that's really sad. For those who don't know, A.B. Owens is a Calvin, five point Calvinist Protestant from Canada. And for those who have any interactions with her, will not will tell you that she is one of the most closed-minded, stubborn Protestants you'll ever come into contact with, ever. So I wake up early this morning. I wake up this morning, this afternoon, and I and she leaves me comments on my video. Here, I will give you some samples right here. Now, I have blocked this girl. For, for those who know this girl, you understand why I've blocked her. But for those who don't, I'm going to explain why I've blocked A.V. Owens from my channel. And I have no intention of unblocking her anytime soon until she changes her ways. The reason why I've blocked her is because I've gone over this topic with her. Over and over again. She is one of the most dogmatic Christians you'll ever come across on the internet. She is willfully ignorant about the things she talks about. She doesn't even engage people in an ethical um, manner. There's no reasoning with this woman because in her mind, in her mind, she's already right, and you're all, and she's right, and you're wrong. Right, and she's right, and you're wrong. Now, again, I there's some, there's a difference between being stubborn and just being plain out ignorant. Willful ignorance. Hey there, everyone's stu stubborn to a certain extent, and I understand that. I'm stubborn too. I admit that. But how are, if you're allowing, allowing your stubbornness to get in the way of actually understanding a position you don't agree with, then you're not really engaging in dialogue. You're just getting you're just engaging in a monologue, and no one is interested in that. And I, and going back to why I blocked Avions, for for people who. I'll just post a transcript of a very, very long discussion I've had with her concerning the topic of Catholicism. I would recommend you read that so you as a viewer can get an idea of what the kind of woman this person is. There is just no reasoning with someone like this. There's no reasoning with because in their mind, they're not willing to learn new things. They're not willing to learn different perspectives. And even if they did, it, they'll, they'll just find ways to try and make it worse than their perspective. And that includes Catholicism. That includes things like orthodoxy. That includes church history. If, if it gets in the way of their specific perspective, they'll either dismiss it, reinterpret it to fit their ideologue, or three, make it so that it's it's worse than it really is. Exaggerate the difference between between Protestantism and, and Catholicism. Take take for example Matt Slick's video. For those who who know who understand Catholic theology, even basic Catholic theology, know that Matt Slick gets pretty much everything wrong in that video. He misunderstands the concept of merit. He misunderstands the concept of the real presence. He misunderstands the Catholic position of justification in itself. He exaggerates the differences in order to advance his ideologue. People like A.B. Owens are the same, are the same thing. And that goes back to the problem I have with fundamentalism. Fundamentalism itself is defined as someone who is a rigid 
ideologue, an anti-intellectual that will advance any sort of argument, even if it go against their worldview. In the case, in, in Evie Owen's case, she doesn't even understand her own position correctly in order to be arguing for her position. She doesn't even understand the Catholic position, or the Orthodox position, or even the atheist position from time to time. The, it's all based on an uneducated, very black and white thinking. And because of that, it really influences the way she views people who disagree with her. If you disagree with her, you're pretty much screwed. There's just no arguing with these kind of people. And with, and with fundamentalism itself, people like A.V. Owens, there's just no way. There's just no point in arguing with them. You're better off just kicking the dust off your sandals and, move, and moving on. And that's, why, and that's what I've chosen to do. I've chosen to walk away from people like A.V. Owens because, quite frankly, they're not worth my time. They're just not worth my time. You know that? And fundamentalism is a problem. This kind of thinking is a problem. It's a problem for Christianity. It needs to be fixed. It needs to be addressed. I think the problem with our churches is that we're not focusing on eradicating this idea of anti-intellectualism, this idea of having this black and white thinking. One of the things I disagree with as a Christian is when a pastor comes up on the podium and makes this startling claim that, well, we should get to the point where we should be, have our Bibles and say, and, and have this mindset saying, the Bible says it, that settles it. No, I don't agree with that whatsoever. Anyone who knows me knows I do not agree with that whatsoever because I think that is a very black and white way of thinking. Now, for those who disagree with me, fine, but that's the way I see it. But again, to be fair, there are worse symptoms of a of being an ideologue, of being a dogmatic fundamentalist, than just standing on the podium and saying, the Bible says it, it's true, that sells it. There are worse things than that. That includes like rejecting um, scientific um, evidence, uh, scientific um, discoveries because it quote unquote this disproves your this uh, your interpretation of the Bible. It disproves your interpretation of Genesis, for example. And, and, and then when you get things like church history, for example, you read church history and you realize that many of the many of the beliefs and practices that, that are, have done been done in modern day evangelical Protestantism are, are very new and modern in this. And, and, and of course, obviously, I'm not saying every single Protestant uh, is ignorant church history. I think there are many Protestants, and I would say the Anglican communion, communion who do recognize church history and do acknowledge that. They just they just disagree on uh, the Catholic and Orthodox uh, handling of ecclesiology, and that's fine. That's a that's a legitimate disagreement. However, there are many there are fundamentalist ideologues who don't even recognize church history, and when they do. They they interpret it in the through the lens of fundamentalism. For example, one for ex one example is they'll make the absolutely ridiculous claim that Constantine started the Roman Catholic Church. That is an absurd claim. Anyone who's studied history would tell you that is completely false, and all that stuff. And that, that's just one example of fundamentalist ideologue, their fundamentalist ideology getting in the way of, of reality and facts about church history, about, about the differences between Catholics and Protestants. And that, to me, is very dangerous because it causes them to lose focus on who Christ was, who Christ is, and what the body of Christ is supposed to be. And another thing is that because of this, so many fundamentalists have caused so much damage to Christianity and has caused even make has made it even harder for for reunion between Catholics and Protestants to be possible. And that to me is a problem. Now, I'm gonna and again I'm rambling, I apologize. And that's one of the reasons why I blocked someone like A.V. Owens, because people like them, people like A.V. Owens are a problem for Christianity. A V people like A.V. Owens, five point Baptist. One T. Muck, Jack Chick, Matt Slick, cause more harm to Christianity than all the Richard Dawkins in the world. Because at least people, at least the Richard, at least the Richard Dawkins in the world, can you can inspire Christians to reunite 
and, and, and uh, examine their own faith. I would rather have 10 Richard Dawkins than all of the Jack Chips, all the Matt Slicks, all the, a all the Five Point Baptists, and all the ABO ones in the world. I'd rather have 10 Richard Dawkins than all, than all the Buttermilk ones combined. And that is my complete and honest opinion about it. And I will not back down from it. Now, I want to, before I end this video, I want to I wanna address something to ABO. If you're watching this, if you're watching this video, I have something to say to you. And it adds this. I don't care whatsoever what you think of me or what you think of Catholicism. You have proven time and time again to be an to be ignorant, willfully ignorant is willfully ignorant. You have proven time and time again to be so stubborn. You're not even willing to, like, like even acknowledge that an, an opponent has valid points. You are so stuck in your black and white ideology that you have pretty much damaged your theology. You have damaged the way, your critical thinking skills. You have damaged the way that. Catholics and Protestants are supposed to work out their differences because in your mind you've already come to the conclusion that Catholics and Protestants have such extreme differences when they're really not and People like myself and other people have corrected you on your on your elementary errors about Catholic theology over and over and over and over and over again That no, nope, we've pr pretty much done talking to you because you're not worth my time. You're not worth any educated Catholic stuff. You are no different from a young earth creationist. From a dogmatic young earth creationist. And yes, you heard that correctly. I've compared you to a young earth creationist. And that's it. I am done with you as far as I'm concerned. I am done with ideologues. I am done with fundamentalists. Because fundamentalists distort the teachings of Christ. They distort the teachings of Christianity. But most of all, they just plain out suck. They cause, a fundamentalism causes more people to leave for atheism than, 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 than atheists themselves. And if you, and one last thing, do yourself a favor and go fuck yourself.